All right, uh, got to put new rollers in my sprayer pump today. I um, was working on this thing last weekend, trying to get, to, well, working on the whole sprayer last weekend, trying to get it ready to spray some wheat, and um, couldn't get the damn thing to build any pressure. It built about 20 pounds sitting there static, and the minute you turned all three boom sections on, it would drop down to about 15, and that's all it would do, and it had a, had a pulsation in the gauge. So, first I thought it might be my pressure regulator, so I tore that off, cleaned it up. There was, there was some shit in it that was keeping the ball from seating all the way. So, got that cleaned up, put it back on. It still wouldn't build any more than 20 pounds. It still had the pulsation in it, so I was like, well, shit, I mean, it must mean my pump's going bad. So, got the pump off, tore the pump apart and um, the rollers in it, which look like this guy here, uh, they were all, they're all wore to taper, and two of them had no plastic left on them. They were just the steel core. So the two that didn't have any plastic left on them explain the pulsation, and the fact that they are all wore explains why it won't build any pressure. Um, so last, one day that I tear that apart last Sunday, I think. Um, I looked all over. Well, I didn't look all over. We've only got two options. I checked TSC and Rural King, which the rebuild kit that's in this thing now came from Rural King. So I figured, well, hell, that's wrong side socket. Figured, well, hell, Rural King ought to have it. No, they ain't got a single. They didn't have a single kit on the shelf. They didn't even have any pump parts. They just had new roller pumps. So. Check Rural King, they didn't have nothing. Check TSC, they didn't have nothing, so I was screwed. Ended up having to order one from Shoot. So, but the wheat got sprayed because the next day, or what, what day was that? Must have been, must have been Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. I uh, was out here working on the elevator, and one of the guys that farms down the road has a their family farms down the road from us here stopped by to get a hose from dad and we were shooting the shit and I told him I had he was asking me how things were going I told him I had with some weed out that was looking pretty good and that was about it and um, he asked if any he told him I was gonna tr try to get it sprayed and he said well hell I'll do it for you I gotta spray mine yet so he ended up uh, they got a nice big case Patriot I think 90 foot booms Nine, maybe they're hundreds or hundred. I don't can't remember. It's it's big big case Patriot sprayer. Um, he ended up going out in there and spraying it for me, and he sprayed it for a head scab and put some 2,4-D on to kill the weeds that are left. And um, he was just gonna charge me chemical, whatever. He doesn't didn't know how much it cost yet, cause he didn't have his invoice, but that worked out pretty good because he's got he. You only got to take. A third of the passes that I would have had to take with mine so he knocked down a lot less wheat doing it that way but I still needed to get this thing ready to start spraying corn and beans because I got weeds coming in like you wouldn't believe and what I tried to do I'm gonna need some needle nose tried to do last weekend to get me through was I tried making a uh, whoops tried making a steel roller that didn't work it still couldn't build any pressure um, but I don't know how well you can tell should be able to tell on that one pretty good see how it's wore down to a taper makes it kind of hard to build pressure when they're not up to size um tried replanting well, the first thing this morning, I did some brush hogging, and um, then I tried replanting some corn, and I don't know how well. I don't know how well you'd be able to tell on video how war the old ones are compared to the new ones, but they're war pretty bad. 
Um, but anyway, I tried replanting some corn this afternoon, and it's still a little wet. But my planter, it was going in the ground pretty good, which for being no-till was kind of impressive. For not being a no-till planter was kind of impressive. Um, so, I did start to take video of that. But I'm going to wait and put all that together when I actually finish replanting corn. So you'll see part of that. You'll see what I shot today at some point added on to when I actually get replant done. Um, and hopefully tomorrow start fitting ground for the last of the beans. So I think that's dry enough to go. And I'm probably going to take Monday off of work if, if, I, if I get that ground fit tomorrow and it looks good. I might probably take Monday off of work to uh, to get beans planted. I shit you not, my neighbor is out cutting hay, or cutting, mowing his yard with a hay bind right now. I shit you not. I tell you what, never a dull moment in this neighborhood. Yep, yeah, stay on there, you little bitch. Um, and the corn is not looking as bad as I initially expected. I'm going to have to do some replant, but not... God damn, that little guy just wants to roll off of there. But I'm not going to have to do as much as I thought. Um, I still got to go check a couple bean fields again. But I, I got a... Well, I got a two-acre bean field that I'm just going to... Right next to the 45 acres I got to hopefully get planted this weekend. I got a two-acre field next to that on my grandmother's place that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna work the whole thing back up and and replant the whole thing because the stand is shit it's it's garbage which I don't think had anything to do with the seed um that field was a little damp I, I mean it wasn't wet you couldn't make mud balls but it was damp and uh it got cold after that and I think the seed germinated because it went right into moisture and got cold and just died. Which, I mean it's funny now. Two weeks ago it wasn't funny but now I'm over it. Um, there was actually a meme floating around. It was a picture of Forrest Gump sitting on that park bench telling a story and it said because we had a bad frost that week i was doing a bunch of or that week i was planting and a bunch of guys had beans in the ground already they were up and the meme said it was a picture of forrest gump sitting on the bench and the meme said and just like that it wasn't cool to plant beans in april anymore because there was a lot of beans got burnt pretty bad so anyhow um and this kit comes with new seals, but I'm not going to bother putting them in because those seals have only been in there five years, I think. And that this pump's got, they'll be fine. It's not leaking. I'm putting an O-ring in it, but I'll redo the seals when I do the bearings. Or next time I have to do the bearings. I got them on the shelf if I need them. For anybody bitches because I'm hitting the bearing with a hammer. This thing is a really, really loose slip fit and I'm just barely, barely tapping on this thing. It'll be fine.
Which I should also probably mention the fact that I just passed 10,000 subscribers last week. That kind of came out of nowhere. For some reason, my video about what killed Oliver and my one about looking at that 2655, for some reason, apparently YouTube's algorithm decided to start recommending it to everybody. And I had subscribers coming out of nowhere. I gained about 1,200 in a week. Or something like that. It was a lot. So, hi to everybody that's new. I had to delete a lot of really stupid comments, too. Just really just stupid, stupid. Everybody was bitching about... Because back when I made that video about what killed Oliver was also the time when I still had my recording glasses. So, I was using those a lot. And everybody's bitching about the camera moving and they were just saying a bunch of stupid shit and I just deleted them all because they were just stupid. But, um, I had one, probably my best troll so far. This guy was, this guy was good. I didn't give a shit. I just deleted it. But then I was like, man, this guy deserves to be recognized. So, the comment was sent to my email and I screenshotted the email and I'm going to put that if I can figure out how to get it off of my phone and send it to my computer when I make this video, I'm going to put it at the end of the video so you guys could actually read it. Because this guy, like, it's, you'll just have to read it. It's, it's, it's a good comment. I laugh my ass off because this guy just is everything that's wrong with the internet, literally. It's hilarious. Like, somebody actually took the time to sit down and think about it. it on, when he left the comment, it showed up as this big three-paragraph essay. And the email is just one big block paragraph. But if you want to right now, just skip to the end of the video and read it and come back because it's worth it. But anyhow, I'm going to stick this back on the sprayer. And we're going to hopefully see more than 20 pounds of pressure. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully it takes prime. This pump is the most finicky thing you'll ever see when it comes to priming up. We're already doing better and it runs quieter. But, I'm going to have to go uh, grab me a 916 16th wrench. See, neighbor cutting field, or neighbor cutting his lawn with a hay bind. I don't want to like directly point it at him, but... Okay. okay. There's 30. damn air bubble in here somewhere yeah right there well apparently my sprayer pump is shot because I can't I made a spacer so I could bottom out the pressure regulator so that it, the valve or the ball can unseat it should be making full pressure all the time and it'll still only put out 20 pounds with the booms open or with the boom valve open so but you can't knock it that's a 1966 pump apparently the clearances in the impeller and the housing have just opened up enough that it just can't build enough pressure even with new rollers in it so looks like I get to go spend 200 bucks on a new pump which is nice after just spending 40 bucks on a rebuild kit dandy oh well you win some you lose some so on that note there's nothing more i can do here so i guess that's it for this one we'll catch y'all on the next one